Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, who is this? Reboot. Uh... Wait, is this... Diagnose. Clues to analyze. Okay, what's my sensor saying? Impaired vision, corrupted mind palace. Corrupted mind palace is an RK200. All systems in low power mode, defective. Ethereum pump regulator, aka the heart. Left and right leg components missing, unable to stand. What else is there to say? Basically dead. Do we have additional body part that I'm not seeing here? Ah. The ear. Corrupted audio data. Damaged. Yeah, we're just gonna... I don't know who we are here. So we're just gonna crawl ourselves out of this pit. And we'll figure that out later. <laughs> It's cool how the hearing is, like, all muffled. There's one of my legs. That is functional. Grab it. We got one leg. This is a great start. Are we going to be able to, like, pull a Connor here and see what happened? That leg's incompatible. Are we in, like, a heap of androids or what? Yeah, we are. Look behind us. It's like a scrap heap, but... Somebody wasn't totally scrapped. Oh boy. Come on. Functional, compatible, let's go. Escape the junkyard. What is this? There's like androids coming out of the walls. Literally hell. An android. Jesus. This place where we can be free. Find Jericho. Find Jericho. There's a place we can be free, find Jericho? So we know some weird stuff about this RA-9. And now that Jericho... Can you see all the parts through us? Oh, disgusting. Oh, that makes me uncomfortable. Uh! Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Whoa, what? Where are you going? I don't know. They don't even, like, make sure that they're... I don't know what this place is. 
we need an audio processor like bad. That should be top priority. I kind of like that it just drops us in here. We don't know who this is or why we're doing this. Functional, but incompatible. Damn it. Bad luck. I don't think this is going to help us at all. Nothing else is working. This is like a true survival of the fittest here. The smartest, most resourceful androids will make it out. Come on now. There we go. Swap it. Oh, she's not going to like that. Frick, man. Oh, boy. Maybe I'll find another one. Let's hope so. I should probably stop having any kind of compassion in this scenario. Yeah, see? Like, they're all gonna be awake. Or whatever you want to call it. Oh, maybe not. He's gone. Checking for parts. Guess not. This thing doesn't even have a head. Come on now. If we get the optical unit, it'd be nice because then maybe we can scan. It's so disorienting. What am I seeing here exactly? It's on top of a car? No strength. So until we replace the damaged parts, we can't do it. Okay, cool. Let's keep searching. We might not have a choice but to take that one. Gotta be ruthless. I feel like we might be the ruthless type. Alright, nice. It's good. This, this guy's not responding, so I feel better about it. I mean, maybe we can, like, walk a little straighter? Alright, optical unit and audio processor. Here, now we're cruising. Bring me some clarity here. Silence. Whoa! Oh, that was crazy. Alright, now we need eyes. 
go back through this way. Please what? Oh no. I'll do it. It does make it quick, like, this whole androids don't feel pain thing is questionable. Can we take his optical unit? That should have been the trade-off. Come on now. There we go. He, uh, pretty clearly does not need it. Okay. I'm an AK 700 android. I was designed to serve you. What can I do for you? You can lend me your eyeballs? Hello. My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact the nearest cyber life maintenance. <laughs> Alright. We are back online. I apologize. Whoever we are. Is this. I still can't see if this is, um, Marcus. It kind of looks like it might be. I'm not sure. Climb the slope. Whoops. Doing it. Rip off. Oh no. Why? Looks pretty good for just removing that thing. So it must have just been a thing on the outside, like not it not implanted. Rise of the Androids. Okay, it is. Yeah, cool. Oh, boy. Marcus wants revenge! <laughs> Leo. Leo might be in trouble. From the dead. So it looks like there was a few other things we might have been able to find there. Android begs to die, refuse to kill for pump... Kill the android that begged to die. Maybe in the optical unit there was another one out there. Marcus came back from the dead. Let's go. So they just took Leo's word and was like, okay, well that's the end of him. Simple enough, I guess. Where's... Oh, I see her back there. The 
really nice park. Now, who is this? Hello, Amanda. He's trusted. Okay. Connor, it's good to see you. Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Thank you. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed... challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? Oh, uh, I think she's testing me here. I think it was traumatized. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This... Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the Deviancy case. What do you make of him? I mean... I'm intrigued by him. I think he's irritable and socially challenged. <laughs> yeah, to say the least. But I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Yeah. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I think we work with him. I will try to establish a friendly relationship. If she I doesn't like that. Trust me, it will be helpful for the investigation. But she doesn't trust him. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. Is she like the owner of Cyberlife? If you can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Okay, I'm gonna need some answers here. Let's go find Anderson. Go to reception. Do not cross the line. This line's open. Can I help you? ST three thousand three hundred. Do you have authorization? I believe yes. so. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Typical. Typical Anderson. Look at this place, man. Wow. We got stuff all over that I can take her with. This is I'm in heaven now. Let's go. This is Detective Reed. Oh, these are probably all just nameplates, aren't they? This is obviously not him. Oh look, this is where I go in, maybe? Uh these are PC two hundreds. January two thousand thirty five. Here's an RK... Is that an RK? PM700. Huh. You and you, come with me. Look at that. Just assemble a police force of androids. Why not? What on here? This one... nobody sits here? Here's Anderson's desk. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. <laughs> if we're lucky, yeah, he's we'll got a bit of a reputation, eh? Thanks.
I'm sure he's gonna love seeing us sitting in his chair when he gets in. Explore a new office. <laughs> okay. Just gonna make it our own. Learn about Anderson. He likes to listen to this, like, aggressive music. Remember that from the car. Knights of the Black Death, yeah. Dark Heavy Metal. I remember that caught me off guard, too, so... Explore his desk, explore the police station. What's that whiteboard on his desk there? We don't bleed the same color. How's my driving? I don't care. Huh. Anti-Android slogans. Use your brain, not your Android. Detroit basketball cap. Donuts, obviously. Saturated fatty ass. It, it breaks down, like, everything. That's so cool. Traces of caffeine. Japanese maple. I was gonna say a bonsai, but not quite. Ayers. Oh, he's got a St. Bernard. Red Ice Task Force. It's a drug unit. Real, I like how he's like circled. Real police. A good cop. Not seen since whatever. Owes me 50 bucks. Asshole. Nice girl. <laughs> and matches from Jimmy's bar. Detroit police dismiss a network of red ice dealers. More than 50 arrests throughout the country. Detroit's finest have dealt a massive blow to the city's growing red ice epidemic. With a number of high-profile dealers and suppliers now behind bars and narcotics seized with a street value of $500,000. Detective Hank Anderson, a young but hugely talented detective, is said to have been instrumental in the operation, which took months of planning. The DA described the work of Detective Anderson and his colleagues as modal, or mod, <laughs> model investigative police work. Detective Anderson promoted to the rank of lieutenant, becoming the youngest lieutenant on the Detroit police force. Wow. Lieutenant Hank Anderson was among the most decorated detectives in DPD's recent history, securing a number of high-profile arrests and serving as an integral part of the force. Captain Fowler said the promotion was long overdue, describing Anderson as among the most talented police I've ever worked with. The new lieutenant is expected to rise quickly through the ranks of the department and is already being tipped as future commissioner. So what happened then? Like, why? He seems like he's on the downswing. New record seizure of red ice. Nearly a ton of red ice discovered in the hold of a boat after a long investigation conducted by Lieutenant Anderson of the Detroit Police Force. Okay. These are back. This is 2028, 2029, and 2031. So these are really old. This is like... Seven years ago. Nine years ago. Ten years ago. Okay. A lot has happened since then, I guess. He was a decorated officer. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Hank! In my office. Perfect. Enter and listen in or explore? Um, pretty sure we want to enter and listen in. 